Don't think with the small head and think just because the wedding is good, the relationship going to be good. What's good? Welcome back to my channel. All right, today we're going to be talking about that Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, and Skeet, I, I meant Pete Davidson situation that's going on. Most of the things that's going on with Kanye right now is self-inflicted. Yeah, he bought it on himself. I know you probably like, how did he bring it on himself? I will explain. If you're new to the channel, I'm Boss Money Bates, and this is Expensive Facts. First and foremost, if it's your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell to turn on the notifications. You do not want to miss this content. Royal family, I hope you're on your purpose. I hope your purpose is magnifying your gifts. Let's do it like this. A lot of people say Kanye crazy. I don't think he crazy at all. Everybody living got something going on inside their brain. Something is a little bit off with every last one of us. I honestly think he a genius. I mean, he worked for Billy. You not work for Billy. I ain't work for Billy. So he ain't that crazy. Enough with that. Let's get into these expensive facts. The reason I say that all of these things that's happening to Ye right now is self-inflicted is number one, I start off with this. When Kanye and Kim was married, Kanye spent way too much time with his wife. Now I know you saying, that's the object. You're supposed to get money and you're supposed to be able to spend time with your family. Nah, it's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. And I'm not saying that that's the problem. But he spent way too much time and dedicated way too much time to his wife. Now, he was on his purpose. He was getting to his money, but he was giving her too much time. And when he gave her too much time, she got bored with him. She started getting tired of him. The small things that he was doing started to aggravate her. This is why they're not together right now. And this is why I always tell you, you got to stay on your purpose. And at times, you got to give her space to do her. You also got to give her space to understand that you still that dude that she started messing with. Because at times, when you crowd their space, they forget that you that dude. They forget that you was the man when you first bagged them. They forget all that. You don't look so superhuman no more. You look like a regular dude. And that's what happened with them. She started looking at Kanye like a regular dude. Yeah, a regular dude. And that's what hurt their relationship. Number two, another reason that, another reason that this was self-inflicted on Kanye. You will never Supposed to have your girl, your wife, your woman chilling around your peoples. Him and Skeet was peoples. You got pictures with him, Skeet, and Kim chilling. You don't supposed to have no man around your girl on a regular basis. You bugging. Being familiar breeds contempt. You already know what it is. He might be sneaking her eyes on the low. He might be telling her shit on the low. He might be doing a lot of things. Also, you give her a chance to look at another dude. Not saying that you're not that dude, but you putting this dude in her face. He playing with her, telling funnier jokes than yours, and you already know the jokes get the best. Man, I ain't even gotta tell you. You already know. So now you put her in a situation where she start feeling this dude. How? Let me ask you guys this question. How did she just out of the blue start messing with Skeet? I mean, Pete. How? That fast. Which would mean you put the anchor out there and stopped the ship a long time ago. You just don't know that. She just randomly start messing with Pete. That's not random. That's not Kim. And that's not how that happens. And I'm telling you, fellas, I'm not telling you to be over overprotective. I'm telling you to pay attention. You cannot have your girl 
around your man on a regular basis. Your girl and your homeboys are not supposed to be socialized. Your people are not supposed to be able to come over the house and be like, yo, I'm gonna just chill here till you get back and uh, you know, hooking your good steak up or something. What? You bugging out. Now let's get to the expensive facts. Another reason why this is his fault, because he allowed this to go on. Also, we already know he has mental health issues. Him being out in the public, him letting people know his business. This is another thing, fellas. When you're dealing with your woman, you got to deal with your woman. It ain't nobody business but you and your woman. Not your homeboy business, not her homegirl business, because this is when things start to happen. When you give people the power to have conversations about your relationship, you also give them the power to change your girl mind. Or she gives them the power to change your mind. My moms always used to say, what happens in my house stays in my house. Meaning, whatever goes on around here, nobody don't need to know but us. And that's another thing. He talking too much on the internet. He letting people know too much on the internet. He's given too much opportunity for people to contact, communicate, and say things about his relationship. Been doing this for a little while now. And now it came back to bite him in the ass. But as far as his kid goes, this is where I agree with him. Not 100% on how he's moving, but I agree that he needs to be a father in his kid's life. I also agree that he should have say in his kid's life. You know, fellas, when you're in a relationship with a female and you guys have kids, sometimes what hurts the relationship with your kids is the relationship you have with your kid's mom or ladies with your kid's dad. But honestly and truly, any relationship or any dealings you have should only be about the kid anyway. When a father says he doesn't appreciate his kid doing something, mothers, you should say, you know what? You're absolutely right. I can see where you're coming from. I'm gonna work on that. And you see what Kim is doing, antagonizing him letting his daughter be on TikTok and he already said he doesn't want his daughter on TikTok. If I don't want my kids on TikTok, we have to come to that agreement. I don't want them on TikTok. That's what's going on. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold says so. But she's antagonizing him. And this is what a lot of women do to a lot of men. They play games with their kids because guess what? You're not in my life no more now. I can play with you. Now I know your sweet spot. I know your soft spot. I know what to get you going. I know what to make you mad at your babies. And that's what she doing right now. She playing the games with his kids, not letting the kids come where he asking them to come, not letting the kids be available how he wants the kids to be available. And that happens when people go separate ways. But as you can see, it's a little bit crazy. Fellas, what you need to understand is at all times, when you have kids, you are supposed to be a father to your kid. You are supposed to take care of your kids. So it's understandable that this guy is upset about his kids. Now let's talk about the stigma with black men and their kids. In our community, black men, we're treated like we're really not good fathers. We're treated like we're non-existent. So I understand and I agree with him saying that he's gonna be in his kid's life because me, if you know me, you know, I'm going to be in my kid's life. I don't want you. <laughs> I don't want you. But I'm going to be in my kid's life. And that's just how it goes. And this is why we get that stigma. Because females draw the picture up like, he don't want nothing to do with his kids. He don't want anything at all to do with his kids. When it really be them taking you away from your kid. Having people looking at you like you're not taking care of your kid when you really are. And then the courts, <laughs> they're not gonna agree with you. 
They're going to agree with the mom. So I definitely agree with him. But once again, this is all his fault because he put himself in that situation. You knew what type of woman Kim was before you started messing with her. You got the Ray J tape. You got Chris Humphreys. You got this person. You got that person. You already know what type of woman she was. Now, don't get it twisted. She gets to the bag. She really gets to the bag. Don't get it twisted. She does. But you knew what type of woman she was before you messed with her. And fellas, understand this. You have to know who you're dealing with before you get involved with them. Yeah. Know exactly who you're dealing with before you get involved with them. So you won't have to go through things like this. So you won't have to walk this walk. Don't think with the small head and think just because the wedding's is good, the relationship going to be good. I ain't telling you not to hit it. I'm telling you to hit it. But I'm also telling you to know who you with before you start a relationship with them, before you invest that time in them. Or she will be just like Kanye. Need I say more? I'm boss money base, and this is expensive. As expensive could get, and I ain't no bullshit. Knuckle.